Welcome back. As Hurricane Milton approaches the west coast of Florida organizations here at home, they're looking at the potential impact on families here in our state and here at home as well. NBC 6's Lena Salzbank spoke with two local groups who are helping to fulfill that need. Here at Feeding South Florida, all these pallets of food behind me, they're ready to go to the west coast of Florida to help families that have been impacted by Hurricane Milton. But organizers tell me that all of this food, it can be gone in a matter of hours after they get that call for help. For the last few weeks, Paco Velez says production at the warehouse has ramped up. Since Hurricane Helene, the food bank in South Florida has sent thousands of meals to families who lost everything. We sent 23 truckloads, 577,000 pounds to the affected areas. And now they're ready to do it all again. All we're doing is playing a waiting game now to figure out when it's going to hit, where it's going to hit, and then what's the response necessary. As Milton barrels towards the state, it's projected to impact families for miles. Miami-Dade County opening up evacuation shelters for flood-prone areas. We've sent 1,100 meals to those evacuation centers for those who are evacuating their areas, especially high flood areas. Schools and businesses closed, including shelters that help feed the homeless. I don't think they're going to be open tomorrow, but at the end of the day, I hope it'll be there after. Sean Atkinstar says these closures have an impact on someone like him who comes to LifeNet for families to get his one meal a day. They help me out a lot. I think about it. One thing when I'm, sometimes when I'm hungry and everything, I don't have nothing to eat. They always, feed me. They always there to feed me. Denise Brown says she's concerned about the impact Milton will have on the community that depends on them. Obviously, with safety concerns, we may or may not be open tomorrow. We may not be open the next day either, depending on, on what happens with Milton. And my concern is the people that we serve won't have access to food. To find out ways that you can help donate to families who are currently struggling with food insecurity at this time, head to our website, NBC6.com. For now, reporting in Pembroke Park, Lena Salzbank, NBC6 News. There's always a need in our community and beyond. Lena, thank you.